Welcome to the Sylvia Center. Art of Cooking. Good evening and welcome to everyone at home for this very special event. My name is Jamie McDonald and I'm your host tonight for Sylvia Center's first ever virtual gala. Yes, it's a sign of the times, but you better believe that's not holding them back. Tonight, we're gonna to hear from key directors at the Sylvia Center about what's going on now and about what the future holds. We also have this unmissable cooking demonstration, which I'm telling you right now, you should not miss. It's gonna happen in about 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And if any of you are on duty for the cooking at Thanksgiving, well, Chef Wu is gonna tell you some secrets he hasn't ever revealed before. We have a cracking night ahead of you. Uh, I'm also gonna be your fundraiser and I'm gonna give you more instructions on that in just a second, but we're off and I just wanna say a warm welcome to you all. Now, a bit of housekeeping again, as, as we've just said, if you are watching me now on your phone, please come off the phone uh, and watch me on a laptop or a computer. Uh, and if you haven't registered before, you can do so now by going to Sylvia Center dot give smart dot com here it is right there uh, and if you are looking to donate i'm going to show you right now how to do it you basically want to text sylvia center to the number seven six two seven eight and just to make it clear i'm going to do it for you live here we go so it is there texting the word sylvia center to the number seven six two seven eight but don't donate now. And I'm only saying that because we wanna do this all together when the fundraising begins in earnest. Okay, the other thing about tonight is we wanna make this collaborative. I can see all these comments th coming through on the chat and it's just amazing. You know, why not put where you're calling in from? Why not put where your connection is to the Sylvia Center? Uh, the other thing we wanna to do tonight is encourage social media activity using the hashtag Art of Cooking 2020. I know we're not all in a room together tonight, which is a shame, but we can make it feel like we are by using that hashtag. And then on social media, you can click on that hashtag, Art of Cooking 2020, and you'll see what everyone else is posting, and it will feel like we're all in this together. Now, as I said, uh, we've got a real highlight coming on later, which is Chef Wu. We're gonna just say a quick hello to him in his kitchen right now. Chef Wu, are you there? There he is, how are you? I can almost smell the ingredients from here. So don't miss that. That'll be coming up in about 20 minutes time. Now on with the show. The first thing to mention is tonight is of course about impact uh, and the amazing things that this organization is doing. And to, to talk to us about impact, there is no better person to talk to us about that than the founder, Liz Newmark. Liz. Good evening and welcome from the Bronx. I'm Liz, and I'm delighted to share tonight with you. It's been an extraordinary year, and it's only November, so we're not done. But for the Sylvia Center, it's been a year of amazing accomplishments. What you've done to help us build our community, I'm just so grateful for it. And how the Sylvia Center pivoted and helped reach out to support essential workers is truly historical. So on this night, I thank you for being part of our community. I thank you for what we've done, and I look forward for what we're going to be doing together. Please enjoy the night. Liz, thank you very much for those words. And before we move on to the next part of the evening, we're gonna hear a few more words from board chair, Cindy Edelson. Cindy. Good evening and welcome to the Sylvia Center Art of Cooking 2020. I'm Cindy Edelson, board chair of the Sylvia Center. And I'd like to kick off the evening by thanking everyone for joining us tonight. And a very loud shout out to our amazing sponsors. It is because of your generosity that our work continues. A few minutes ago, you heard from our founder, Liz Newmark. I wanted to also emphasize our year, which has been both unimaginable and at the same time incredible. The fortitude of our staff, chefs, and students, and all of you have been nothing short of inspiring. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting used to this Zoom way of life. And our students certainly have, as evidenced by the success of our programs. A few statistics to share. 
Our programming in both New York City and Columbia County is 100% virtual. In addition to our local students, we have now added students and families from throughout the country that are taking our classes. 14 of our teen culinary apprentices completed paid virtual internships thanks to Expand Ed. It was a big win, providing a source of income for the summer while creating potential job pathways for the future. With Henry Street Settlement, we ran a virtual summer camp and a summer teen learning program with the Food and Finance High School. We launched Pancake Passport, doesn't that sound good? A new middle school program with Grand Street Settlement. We launched a virtual mindfulness curriculum to assist our young people with the emotional impacts of both COVID-19 and the racial awakening movement. It has been an overwhelming success and will become a permanent addition to our programs. So many in our community face in food insecurity, and we have taken an active role in facilitating food access for them. Food access programs are now active thanks to our partners in Brooklyn and in Columbia County, with special support from our very own Kotchke Farm. One more heartfelt thank you to our new dynamic executive director, Jonathan Setnarski, and to our tireless board. Thank you all for making each day inspiring and for doing this work together. Now on to our evening, please enjoy. Thank you, Cindy. And this idea of food insecurity is certainly something I wasn't so aware of, and it's such an important idea for the Sylvia Center. The fact that food access should be available for everyone. It's such a uh, interesting theme that's gonna run through this evening, but to highlight exactly how this works, we're gonna watch a video on food access initiatives. Here's the clip. Didn't those ingredients just look so fresh and delicious? It's interesting, isn't it? We all have a very personal relationship with food and healthy food. Uh, on, from my personal point of view, my father happens to be a type two diabetic and something that he possibly could have avoided if we knew what we knew today about nutrition and the education around nutrition. Um, when it comes to this organization, uh, it's amazing what they do, but it's also so fun meeting the people involved. And I've particularly enjoyed getting to know uh, this next man who's going to speak. Uh, he was the CEO of a, of, a culinary, um, of a culinary school, so he really knows what he's talking about. He's also the co-author of a book called The Complete Vegan. So it's my pleasure to introduce Executive Director Jonathan Sitnarski. Jonathan. Good evening, everyone, and I hope you're enjoying the show so far and getting the opportunity to chat with your friends and colleagues. This year, instead of doing a conventional honoree, we chose to celebrate the individuals who bring our mission to life, our chef instructors. As you've heard throughout the evening, the Sylvia Center had to make a 100% pivot to virtual learning. And let me tell you, this was no easy task. Our chef instructors had to quickly become video professionals, IT managers, all while continuing their culinary education practices and making sure that they can engage their kids without the benefit of a kitchen or sometimes access to food. What I'd like to do now is share with you a video that really sums up why we do what we do 
and show you firsthand how these wonderful, amazing instructors turned our program into a virtual success story where they were able to show up for our kids and make a difference. I hope you enjoy it and thank you. I'm going to show you how to do uh, Mexican tamales. I'm going to take some of my masa. A quick, light, easy salad to make. I'm going to make sure that all my pieces of butter are separated. Making sure my fingers are all tucked the entire time. So the transition from in-person to virtual has been very remarkable actually. For instance, like one of our activities was for the students to take a snack and do a nutritional analysis of it. And so at the end of class, all 16 students held up their dish. And it was just so amazing to see everyone cooking along, everyone adding their own spin on it. And that was by far my favorite, one of my favorite moment of uh, the spring and summer classes. The Sylvie Center like went above and beyond making sure kids got the materials. Our students really felt as if they were cared for, as if they were receiving information that they can apply to their daily lives. Hi. Well, I want you both to hold it. And this is some um, ours. Um, let's see. Bien. Puedes dar eso, mami, si quieres. I have a question about mushrooms. What do you put in the uh, in the egg mixture? I'm sorry, but how inspiring are these videos? They are just fantastic. Oh my gosh. Um, now, for all of you that are getting in touch on social media, we can see a few of you are doing it and thank you, it's great. But just a reminder, for all of you who are doing Instagram videos, who are taking pictures and putting it up on Facebook, please use the hashtag Art of Cooking 2020. It means that everyone else who's on social media can see who's logged in, uh, we can share the photos, and after the event we can see all the people that took such good content uh, and replicate it so we can spread the word. Really important stuff. Um, now we are about to come to the fundraising part of the evening, which is very exciting. So I just want to make sure that everyone has a, a charge glass and a charge phone. Uh, both are important. And um, we're going to come to the fundraising in just a second. But before we do, there's just a few people that would like to say thank you.
Selena, um, I miss her, and I think she was the best chef. She taught her classes really well. Really the best thing about it, since we have to do it through Zoom at home and it's not just a drop-off program, is that the two of us are learning how to work together. One of my favorite recipes was the butternut squat because it was delicious and it was a new food for me. Also, I remember this specific recipe because it was made by the whole class. Love, love. Chef Donald, Chef Doris, and of course Sam. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for helping me throughout the quarantine and just giving me a place to like honestly show my and my cooking skills. I love you guys and see, see you guys around. So here we are everyone at home. We are down to the fundraising part of the evening. In the next five to 10 minutes, you at home, yes, you at home sitting there are going to decide how much we raise for this amazing organization to take on over the next 12 months and beyond. Now, I'm just gonna say, don't donate right now. I'm just gonna remind you that if you haven't registered yet, there's a website to go to. It's gonna pop up right here, which is sylviacenter.givesmart.com other way around. Sorry, I'm just getting used to that. Uh, and when it comes to donating, you are going to text Sylvia Center to 76278, as I said before, but don't donate just yet. Okay, so here we go, everyone. We're going to get into the fundraising. For those of you who haven't done this pledge level donating before, it's pretty simple. I'm going to go from top to bottom, from high to low, and talk you through what each, how far each of the levels go, because it's so important that you and Hope realize where every dollar goes. So we're going to start right now at the highest level, which is ten thousand dollars. Obviously, a huge amount of money, but some of you will have that firepower. And let me explain exactly how far that goes. It sponsors a community kitchen. I think there are two words that are so important to the Sylvia Center, community and kitchen. Yes, it's about uh, nutrition and education, but it's about building a community as well. And even in these virtual times, it's still a place where kids can go to pick up meals, and it's still a place that chefs can go to create these recipes and do their dishes. So if you are someone who can donate $10,000, or maybe you know someone uh, who can donate $10,000, give them a nudge, send them a text and inspire them because you know that these are the amounts which make such a difference. So if you can donate $10,000, once again, please, please text Sylvia Center to 76278. You're going to hear me saying that a lot this evening, but I want you to remember it. And let's, Nevin is, is, uh, is backstage in charge of the totalizer. Nevin, let's have a quick look to see where we are. Oh my goodness, look at this. We're up to $18,000 already. What a great start from all of you at home. This is fantastic. Well, I'm just going to do a little dance. Sorry. That was, that was me just getting too excited. Oh, sorry, it, I, this really excites me. What can I say? Okay, thank you to all those that donated at the $10,000 level. And now let's go down to the $5,000 level. This is the uh, Cook for Health program, uh, which is amazing. Just listen how far $5,000 goes. This basically trains 10 students over 12 weeks. It gives them a real skill set. $5,000 goes that far. Isn't that amazing? And one other thing that I love about this uh, this level is it gives these students real self-confidence. It's one of the great things I've learned about the Sylvia Center is a lot of self-worth, a lot of positivity. And I'm sorry. Oh, one, one second. Hot off the press. I am now hearing for any of you who are donating at the $5,000 level, and this is a priceless item, you are going to get a case of Liz Newmark's homemade jam, you lucky, lucky folk. Uh, isn't that exciting? <laughs> so if that tips the balance, then, then that's just wonderful. But for those of you who can donate $5,000, here it is once again. Please text Sylvia Center to 762 seven, eight. And you basically are going to uh, sponsor these uh, 10 students over 12 weeks and get a case of homemade jam from Liz. What more can you say? 
Woo, okay, so Nevin, why don't we just see what we're doing with the totalizer? Here we are, we're up to $30,000. Isn't this great? Come on. This is so wonderful. Thank you to all of you who are donating at home. Uh, if you have missed your level, don't worry. You can donate at any time. Okay, let's just take a pause. I'm just, my blood pressure's going up. <sighs> Next level is $2,500. Let me tell you, this is a really special level. This gives uh, six weeks of virtual class for families. Um, and at this time, in this kind of environment that we're living in, it is so important that families can have access to this kind of nutrition education, and we can, and Sylvia Center can do it virtually. If that is something that's important to you, and then $2,500 is something you can donate, then do donate it now. But don't just listen to me. Right now, we're going to listen to one of Sylvia Center's own graduates. Let's hear from Destiny. Hi, my name is Destiny. I'm a chef instructor with the Sylvia Center. For many students, a lot of them want to be independent and they want to cook at home. So the best feeling is when they come and they say, oh, I made this last week, what we made this week, you know? And it's just like, I really love that part of teaching. I learned how to be more confident in myself and in the kitchen. And with the new skills I've learned, it made me aware of things I didn't know before, um, making you aware of more healthy choices and healthy foods and how to get access of those things. The Sylvia Center saw something in me and it made me realize that I'm actually pretty good at what I do. I want the students to take home with them that confidence and that independence that I've seen in the kitchen. I want them to bring that home. So don't just take my word for it. Listen to Destiny. Isn't that amazing how inspired she is? What a difference it's made to her life. Anyway, it's just wonderful to see. It's wonderful to hear. And to all those who have already given, you should be so proud of yourself. You should feel really good because you're changing lives. Right, we are moving on to the next level, which is $1,000. This is the Teen Culinary Apprenticeship. This is an amazingly personal and wonderful program because it gives a skill set to one student for 20 weeks. 20 weeks, that is almost half a year. What an incredible thing to do. Now, I don't know for you at home, if you have, if you came into tonight thinking I can possibly spare a few hundred bucks, then you may be sitting next to someone who also thought the same. Could you get together and donate a thousand dollars? Wouldn't that be cool if you could donate something together and then straight away it's something memorable between the two of you? So if you are sitting at home next to somebody and you're trying to work out what level means the most to you and how much you can afford, just think about that because it's a really great and inspiring thing to do. So if you can afford $1,000 and you want to donate at this level, do it now by texting Sylvia Center to 76278, 76278 at $1,000. And we are going to go to the totalizer and let's see if we've broken through 40,000. We're through. Look, here we go. A little dance. Uh, $40,000 is so great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Please do keep the donations coming in. This is really great. Uh, please keep the hashtags doing Art of Cooking 2020. We're doing great, guys. The momentum is building. Let's see if we can get all the way up to $100,000. Come on, we've got to dream big, haven't we? Okay, let's move down to the next level, which is $500. The pandemic has caused a huge amount of problem to so many people, uh, health issues, financial reasons, but should it mean that people can't have access to decent and healthy food? Well, that's what the Sylvia Center tries to do. Uh, someone was actually telling me earlier today, they, they literally just told me um, that families are, are one and a half times more likely to suffer from food insecurity. And there shouldn't really be a reason why families with children should have uh, less of a chance of getting access to healthy food. Well, this is what the Sylvia Center tries to combat. And they, they also said that this pandemic is doubling that effort. So if you think that $500 is something you can afford and you're very keen to improve food access for families and children in the communities that the Sylvia Center uh, focus on, donate now. Uh, do $500 and text 
uh, to 76278 Sylvia Center. Have a real think if that's something that you can afford. I know there's so many things we can be spending our money on now, and there's so many things we can't do anymore. Uh, perhaps there was some winter coat we were going to buy, and do we need to buy it again? If there's something that you, if, there, if you can afford that amount, then do text that amount. But thank you for all the donations that are coming in. Nevin, why don't we have a quick look at the totalizer? Where have we got to? Okay, we're up to 42,000. I can actually hear there's still more donations coming through. Momentum is building. If you haven't had a chance to donate yet and you're waiting for your level, of course, that's absolutely fine. If we've already passed your level, feel free to donate at any point this evening. I'm just walking you through the levels one by one. Okay, down to $250. This sponsors virtual classrooms. And given the year we're all having, virtual classrooms are essentially all we have. And therefore, they're so important. We need to get that message out to families that you can eat healthily. Uh, when you listen to Chef Wu, you'll realize that you can eat healthy and you don't have to spend a lot of money doing it. So $250 sponsors these virtual classrooms. Can you afford $250? Are you a, someone who used to go to the theater and now you can't? Is that something where you can allocate that amount to? If you can, then $250 is what you should donate now. And of course, the number is 76278. Text Sylvia Center and donate now at $250. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the totalizer again. Never where are we up to? Are we in the mid 40s? Okay, we're in the mid 40s. Come on, guys, let's see if we can make $50,000. Can anyone out there take us to $50,000 at the next level? Or maybe they can donate at one of the higher levels and give us a little jump up. I know that would inspire everyone on this call. Going one level lower to $100. I'm just checking in on the totalizer. Now, all of these communities need the tools. Uh, they need knives, they need cutting boards, they need the kits uh, to do the, uh, the cooking classes and to let the, uh, the kids and the families to, to do their programs. This amount at $100 uh, sponsors exactly that. So if that's something you feel strongly about, donate $100 now. Uh, What's $100? It's a night out at a restaurant in New York City. Really think to yourself, you're sitting at home, maybe I've already donated. Uh, and by the way, thank you so much. There's nothing to stop you donating twice. Perhaps I should have said that. If you can donate $100, let's see if we can't get a flurry of donations at $100 and take us up towards $50,000. Okay, Nevin, let's have a quick last look at the total. I see where we are. Okay, we're in the mid 40s. This is looking good. And I'm just going to say a last thing, which you can also donate any amount. You'll see uh, if you've texted or if you've registered that you can actually donate any amount. And there was actually a very sweet story I heard earlier, which is that someone had, I think it was a baby girl on the 23rd of May, and they decided they wanted to donate $523, 523. So if there's something that's happened to you this year, uh, if you're sitting next to somebody which, with a memorable date and you think, why don't we immemorialize uh, this date or some number, some lucky number, then of course you can donate that amount. Oh gosh, I'm taking a breath only because it's so great to see all these comments coming through. Everyone's logging in from all around America, which is wonderful. And I think we've had a really, really successful evening. As I say, the donations can keep coming. Uh, don't think you've, you've missed anything. If there's someone you know who wasn't able to make this uh, to make this event, let them know that they can still donate. I'll do it one last time. It's to Sil it's Sylvia Center to 76278. Now, as promised, uh, we have Chef Wu, who's gonna give us his cooking demonstration. He's a New Yorker through and through. He's more fun than a joke book in a fun factory. I've absolutely loved getting to know him. He's such a character, um, and we're now going to see him, but I'm just gonna say before we do that, he's uh, a modest man, but he was also on Master Chef, Chef Wu. Hey guys, I'm Chef Wu, and I'm really happy to do a live demonstration for our extended Sylvia Center family. It's really exciting for me to show you guys one of my favorite fall dishes, which is going to be simple, right? It's going to be flavorful. And most importantly, it aligns with our Sylvia Center uh, mission statement of thinking about creating a place for our students to become better, healthier eaters. Because let's face it, 
the veggies that we're going to make are going to taste oh so good. So we're going to be making a creamy butternut squash and it's going to either make you the talk of your holiday party or it's going to make you the talk of your home dinner table. Today's butternut squash soup mixes the sweet and savory flavors to a simple but tasty vegetable that is found in all of our students' local supermarkets. Working with the Sylvia Center for the last three years as a public school educator has been amazing. I've watched students become more aware of what they're eating. I've watched them understand adding more fruits and veggies to their diet or just become master chefs in the making. It's a prime reason for you guys to open up your pockets today and make sure that programs like this continue because the dishes that we make today not only connect to our students, but the Center is actually giving the roots of healthiness that begins to sprout. So let's begin with our butternut squash. It's so simple. We have six ingredients for this uh, dish. We have our butternut squash. Right, I have it already diced and chopped up for you. We have our garlic, right? We have shallots, nutmeg, and then my secret ingredient, some maple syrup. The thing that is going to put it all together is our veggie stock. So all of these things are gonna to put together. We're gonna to start with the butternut squash. So, we take, our butternut, we take our butternut squash and we're going to just put some olive oil on it. Olive oil to massage it, about a tablespoon. We're going to put some salt and pepper. Get our salt and pepper in there. And then we're going to just massage it. Right? We're going to toast this in the oven at the temperature of 420 degrees. And then after that, we're going to make sure that it's nice and caramelized and delicious. While that's going on, I'm going to show you something that our Sylvia's kids do every day. Proper cutting techniques. I've watched Gordon Ramsay teach me how to cut, and Sylvia said it taught me the same way three years ago. So they're clearly teaching the right process, right? So we take our onions, and we're going to just bear claw, right? We use our tunnel, all right? And then we want to make sure that we have nice, even pieces. Notice how perfect these chops are. It allows us to really, really get this to cook and saute at the perfect speed. Similar to our garlic, we wanna smash it down, right? And give it the same chop, right? Mincing it, it can be a little bit rough because again, all of these delicious ingredients are going in the blender, right? These are gonna be our aromatics. So as our butternut squash, Nice and toasty. We're going to saute our onions and garlic. Right. Our kids are doing these skills every single day in our kitchens, and even when we went virtually, they still did these skills. So as we get our pan hot, we're going to get some oil in it to saute our onions and our garlic. We're going to go into our oven and with TV magic, we're going to pull out our butternut squash. Look at my overhead camera. I want you guys to notice toasted butternut squash, right? It has the delicious caramelization that's going to make this dish so sweet. For adults, it is going to be your holiday ace in the hole. So making sure that our butternut squash is nice and toasted, we're going to start putting that in our blender. We want to get things ready so when our onions and garlic, which is nice and hot, is perfectly ready, we are ready to transport everything in our blender. So while that's getting hot, we're going to put in our butternut squash into Add our veggie broth, all right? Adding some nice flavor. When our stove is nice and hot, we are going to start sauteing the onions and garlic, all right? Our onions and garlic, we wanna make sure it is 
perfectly piping hot. We're going to saute them until they're translucent, and then we're going to add the other ingredients. So while we're still waiting for this to heat up, I'm going to add in my maple. I'm going to take my fresh, right, very fresh nutmeg, and just put some in, right? You can always add more flavors you can never take away. So making sure that we're just getting a few bold flavors in, right? are really jelly, right? So, as our onions start to saute, we're gonna make sure, right? We want these to be nice and translucent, right? We, we can add a little bit of salt to our onions, not too much, but just to add some flavor. And then as I'm starting to hear the sizzle of my onions, right, I want it to get that translucent color. Make sure, if you're cooking this, letting those aromas speak to you feels incredible. Right? When these start getting nice and clear, we're going to add our second aromatic, which is our garlic. The great thing about the Sylvia Center and the program that we do is oftentimes I watch my own students learn great culinary vocabulary. Culinary vocabulary that they use in the classroom, that they use in their own families, and allows them to be a part of this culinary world. Once we get the flavors nice and sauteed, let's get these a little bit more clear. We're going to add this all together. It's such a simple soup, it's so nice and flavorful, and it will always keep people wanting more. As we get our blender just about ready, and as we saute these for one last second, mm, I can smell the shallots, I can smell the garlic, it's just amazing, it is amazing. Mm. All right, once we get our flavor nice and clear, we're going to add this to our blender. And while we are with all of our ingredients, we are going to blend it. There's nothing that you can do when you're doing Once we get our butternut squash nice to our consistency, we want to make sure we're pouring it out. Look at that creaminess. Look at that color, and I can smell the sweet taste. But as I tell my students, just because we're eating from home doesn't mean that we don't have to be fancy. We can always be fancy from home, so we're going to crack some cracked pepper in there. Get some beautiful color. Right, we're going to take some bagel chips that you can turn into some beautiful bruschetta, and then we are going to enjoy the food. If you saw this dish and you said to yourself, oh my God, I want to eat this delicious meal, just know that for a gift for you guys and for all your donations, we are actually giving you tonight's recipe so that you can make this butternut squash soup and be the talk of your town. I'm Chef Wu, and hopefully I woo you guys to do more donations and continue the great work that Sylvia has to offer. Peace, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hey, butternut squash, great. I'm just kidding, I knew you guys were there. I knew you guys were there.
Uh, let's give it up for Chef Wu. He is so amazing. He has so much energy. Uh, he makes me want to jump in the kitchen. In fact, so much so, that's it. I'm part of the family. I'm part of the, the Sylvia Center, which is an ever-growing family, and I feel that it really grew tonight. Chef Wu, thank you so much. I have an extremely exciting announcement to make. Extremely. So please all listen carefully. If there's any of you out there that haven't donated yet and you think that you can donate $5,000, I just got word that board members are gonna match that $5,000. They will match that $5,000 if we get a $5,000 donation now. How amazing is that? I can also tell you some amazing news that this organization managed to raise about $250,000 even before tonight. So we are at about $300,000 and we're on our way to $350,000. So isn't this great? We're about a third of a million dollars. But please do keep donating. I'm just gonna keep an ear out to see if anyone has come through at $5,000 because it would be amazing if we could get that and then the board would match it and that's another $10,000 and that catapults us to that higher number. Nevin, if you're there, should we just see where we're up to on the totalizer? Just have a quick look. Okay, listen, come on. Can someone take us to $50,000? Is anyone out there who can spare $250 or $500? Maybe you've donated already. Can you stretch for another $250 or $500? Let's try and get to that $50,000. I'm going to keep listening if any more come in. Let's give it another go, Nevin. Have we got anything else that's coming through? Oh, okay. Well, everyone at home, what can I say? It has been, uh, it has been such a pleasure for me uh, getting to know this organization. If, you, uh, if you're very familiar with it, well, then it's amazing what everyone's doing there. But if you're not, obviously go to the website, Sylvia Center, and find out a lot more about it. It's amazing what these guys are doing. As I said earlier, Food is such a personal journey with so many people and food and healthy food is not something that people should, uh, uh, should, have, should not have access to. So as I say, I'll just do this one last time. If you can donate, please donate by texting the Sylvia, Sylvia Center to 76278. We are gonna get through that $50,000 mark. I'm positive about it. Anyway, it has been an absolute pleasure to be your host this evening. My name is Jamie McDonald and as we, uh, as we draw to a close, we are going to have a few words from uh, a co-chair of tonight's event, Courtney Archer Buckmeyer. So thank you very much. Courtney, it's over to you. Tonight was just a taste of what happens at the Sylvia Center. You've seen our students and instructors, met some special friends, and heard about the impact of our program. We really hope you felt it too. It's more than just cooking, more than just knife skills. We build community instill confidence, inspire independence, and leaders emerge in and out of the kitchen. To stay tuned for what we're cooking up next, follow us on Instagram and look out for our newsletter. And if you haven't done so already, please make a gift to help us reach even more children, teens, and families across New York. Thank you so much. See what this is? This is my little dance when we hit $50,000. There it is. Oh, isn't that great? You should see what I do when we hit $100,000. I'm just saying. Um, anyway, I, I, said I, would, I said I would leave you alone, and I really will do now. I just was so excited that we made it through $50,000. And, and as I say, please keep the donations coming through. Uh, it's such a wonderful organization. I'm so proud to be a part of it and now part of the family. Uh, I will pass on now for the uh, closing videos of the show. Cheerio.